Hey guys, so I just received a phone call about two hours ago from the uh, hospital, I guess, and uh, I got my test result back for COVID-19 um, and it came back positive. So there's quite a, you know, a story, I guess, of, of the last week or so um, for me to um, get to this point um, and... I will share it as things go on because I'm now in isolation. Um, well, when I say I'm now in isolation, I've been in isolation for about four days, five days now anyway. Um, but I started showing signs. So I, cause like, so originally I had known contact and then I started showing signs and so decided to go get tested um, because that will only test you if you've got signs or, um, have had known contact and anyway um i'm now positive and i found out about yeah two hours ago um look all good here um not anything too serious to worry about yet um in terms of my symptoms um about two days ago um i've started getting a light head and some congestion in the nose um and some light body aches and then the next day it got worse uh, in terms of my headache and body aches body aches especially um, and then today I started noticing that I couldn't really smell anything like I actually accidentally burnt my toast and uh, couldn't couldn't smell it at all um, and had a coffee in the morning and couldn't couldn't even taste the coffee uh, well I could taste it but it was like very mild it was like it didn't taste like real Australian coffee Anyway, um, I wanted to keep this kind of short um, and tomorrow I think I'll wake up and, and do a proper proper post, but I kind of wanted to make serious of what's going on um, in my community in terms of what's going on globally because I feel like a lot of us don't realize the severity of the situation we're in um, and what it may mean. I'm still seeing lots of people joking about it, lots of people um, being quite inconsiderate about what's going on. And now that I am known, I am a known contact, uh, known, um, uh, yeah, case, then things are changing. Things, things change and I, I want this message in my um, situation to be a wake-up call for all of you to start really, really realizing your decisions um, and the severity of this situation, um, not only for your personal spiritual side and your daily decisions, but more for the care and love of those around you. Um, so I'm not necessarily too worried about my health. Um, Right now, my symptoms are quite mild, and I hope they stay that way. But from some things I've read, it could get worse. Um, so we'll see, and I'm I'm willing to document that um, with you guys to to give you a um, yeah something to I guess see in terms of what is going on with it. Um, but the biggest worry I have is that before I knew I had known contact, I was. I saw my parents and I spent the night at my parents' house. And look, at that point, um, I mean, th this epidemic is, is moving so quickly that we don't really realize. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that we're kind of like realizing things as we go, but I hope that my, my message can really speed things up for you personally. Um, but yeah, I was at my parents' house and I had no idea that I, I had had known contact um, it wasn't until the day after, or later that day, sorry, um, that I, I realized what, because I saw an article of, of an event that I went to where there were confirmed cases. Um, and so my parents since that day, which was Sunday the 22nd, and it's now the 26th, um, have been in, in isolation, and, and I have as well been with my two brothers who I live with. But now that I'm positive, for the virus i've been told by the government health um to stay in my room for well essentially indefinitely so that's going to be fun um yeah uh, i'm feeling a lot of things right now in terms of my yeah um psychological state i suppose uh, again like I, i've done my research in as 
much as I can. I, I, there's a huge rabbit hole right now, I guess, of stuff that we can learn about this, but I'm not overly concerned about myself. I will go through, you know, the pain of whatever happens, but I am worried about my parents uh, and I am worried about, well, I, I've been living with my two brothers and, and for the week that I did not know I had contact, um, they were out and about as well. And you just like this, the aggressiveness of this virus moves so quickly and, and it can get to someone who may not have the immune system to uh, withstand the symptoms. So right now, the best and only thing we can do is stay at home. And yeah, from what I know anyway, in terms of, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not here to tell you any medical advice. All I'm telling you it to do is your part. You think it's a joke, you think it might just be all so foreign to you. Um, but I guarantee you, you've walked past someone who's already carrying it. Like that's 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 where we're at right now. Um, and the media's doing the best they can, but it's all over the place. You know, the cases I think right now are 2,800 or something in Australia. It's probably more realistically like 10,000 at this point um, because a lot of people may show mild symptoms and not get tested or whatever, right? But anyway, um, the next, well, I guess whoever, who knows how many days I'm going to be locked in this room. So I'm going to do my best to keep updated with a couple of videos here and there of how I'm feeling, what the symptoms might be showing, um, and just some, I guess, some insight onto what sort of thoughts and, and fears and that may come up when you actually have the virus. Um, because, yeah, I mean, a big part of what I'm all about is the mental side of things, as a lot of you may know, and sometimes the panic and the fear and everything of everything that's going on can really affect you up here and that can create more disease and more pain and everything like that so right now i am doing the best i can with uh meditations uh well i mean i only found out two hours ago that i was positive but to be honest deep down in, in me i knew since sunday or monday i should say when i had the symptom the first symptoms i kind of just i knew i knew inside of me that that I kind of already had it and that's when the panic and the fear started kicking in and, and so I've been doing lots of meditation um, when I say that I mean like two sometimes three 20 minute meditations a day real deep ones uh, if I can get into them um, to really just balance the immune system balance the breathing um, I, I'm actually not sure if I said before but right now I, I don't have any throat I don't have any cough I don't have any congestion here I've only got congestion here my lungs are fine i haven't got any chest pain at this point so fingers crossed that we, it stays that way um look i would love to hear from people um if you have any questions or if you just want to say hello i'm obviously going to be stuck in this room for who knows how long um the health the um the health team have told me that they're going to be in contact with me every day um to monitor what's going on um but, and they're going to send a package out of like surgical masks and things like that for me so that if I need to go to the bathroom, literally, I have to put it on because I do live with two other people. So, um, yeah, very severe situation. Um, but I'm feeling still quite a lot of optimism and hope and love for everyone, for myself, for God, for... Um, what this can teach us and what, what we can do to, to come out of this as stronger, better people. Um, but yeah, as some of you may have saw, I recorded a podcast with my dad literally on Sunday and that's why I was at my parents' house and we, we sat there for a good hour talking about um, just some different things from um, with, with regards to what's going on right now. And I think... Uh, it's just crazy to think that literally five or six hours later after recording that, I, I found out that I had known contact and then now I'm sitting here four days later th no, knowing that I literally was sitting there in front of him. I mean, we were a good meter away, but I mean, we were in that in that space for a good hour recording that podcast. So I'm, I'm very fearful that I may have passed it to him um, not knowing it. So yes, and that's, that's part of what <laughs> what can happen with this. So we need to... I saw a really good 
piece of advice is that everybody should literally act now as if they have the virus. Um, maybe not so much isolate yourself to completely to one room, but at least to your home. Do that and we will all get through this together. We'll get through this stronger. Um, I'm very interested in um, creating some like uh, um, group things where maybe can, people can jump on and we can have like, you know, four or five people together and we can all socialize and say hello and uh, mainly for my own sanity. But uh, yeah, um, hopefully, yeah, we can do that. And uh, if anyone has any more questions and stuff like that. So anyway, I'll finish, finish this now. It's now like almost midnight on the 26th, so Thursday. Um, I'm going to post this in the morning because I actually haven't told mom and dad yet because I was going to tell them in the morning so that my mom doesn't lose sleep over this um, because the healthcare professional on the phone said, look, for them, they're not showing any symptoms or anything. So at, at this point, um, th it's okay to wait until the morning to tell them. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just trying to save her losing a whole night's sleep. And um, But anyway, look, lots of very uh, moral dilemmas start coming up in your mind with this thing, you know, like people think, oh, I might be, if you don't have it, people think, oh, yeah, I'll be safe to just go down the street and do this or do that. And well, no, like it's, 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 you don't know, you just don't know. And you have to be so, so precautious during this time. So anyway. I send lots of love to everybody out there. I hope you're all taking care of yourself, taking care of your families. Um, I hope you're all getting in touch with a higher purpose of what this all may mean to you. And yeah, um, we're all in this together. So 